welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 revenge or breakup songs. For this list, we're looking at songs about real, reportedly real, or totally fictional relationships that went up in flames, and the artist wanted to make sure we all know about it. What song would you play to feel better after a breakup? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Shakira, BZRP Music Sessions Volume 53, Bisarap and Shakira In 2022, Shakira and her husband Gerard Piquet announced their separation, allegedly due to the soccer player's infidelity. Shakira channeled her emotions into music and released this scathing breakup song with plenty of pot shots at her ex and his new girlfriend. As well as hinting that his new girlfriend is a significant downgrade, she also references her former mother-in-law, the relentless media, and blames PK for her recent tax evasion scandal. It's the perfect balance between diss track and empowerment anthem, and broke YouTube records for Latin music, with more than 63 million views in just 24 hours. Shakira comes for her ex and comes for him hard. It's savage, and we're here for it. Number 9. Since You've Been Gone, Kelly Clarkson Does anyone else feel the rage bubbling inside them when the song begins? We started up Kelly Clarkson stands since American Idol, but we adored her even more when she released this relatable thrashy banger about what happens when a good relationship turns bad. Hearing her sing out her anger with such vigor and watching her trash an apartment in the music video is surprisingly cathartic. On the one hand, we feel the rage. On the other hand, she's celebrating the freedom of ending a soured relationship. How come I never hear you say, I just wanna be with you? This sentiment and the infectious rhythm made Since You've Been Gone a timeless classic. It also earned her several awards, including a Grammy. Stick that in your ex's face. Number 8. Shout out to my ex, Little Mix. When Little Mix released this catchy post breakup girl power anthem, we all side eyed One Direction's Zayn Malik, who had recently called off his engagement to band member Perry Edwards. The first verse, sung by Edwards, is filled with shade, like referencing the duration of the relationship and calling out how quickly the former lover moved on. The group has all but denied these speculations. Edwards even claimed that since so many breakup songs are sad, they just want to release something empowering. The song is a perfect reminder that life and love are filled with learning experiences, and you should always strive to live it to the fullest. Plus, did we mention it's a tune? Well, I'm all the way up, I swear you'll never, you'll never bring me down. Number 7. Love Yourself, Justin Bieber Jelena famously dated on and off for much of the 2010s, and could easily release a joint album of songs they've allegedly written about each other. I didn't want to write a song, cause I didn't want anyone thinking I still care or don't. Among the most notable is Bieber's Love Yourself, co-written by Ed Sheeran. Some fans speculated that the title was inspired by Gomez's tattoo, which reads Love Yourself First in Arabic. The lyrics are incredibly biting and completely slander their intended subject. If you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Whoever he is singing about, it's clear that this relationship did not end amicably. My mama don't like you and she likes everyone. Still, the narrator wants that person to know that although they acknowledge the tumultuous relationship, they're already over it. You made me feel small. I fell in love, now I feel nothing at all. 
In 2019, Gomez seemingly responded, declaring that she needed to lose you to love me. I needed to lose you to find me. Number six, Cry Me a River, Justin Timberlake. Did Justin Timberlake talk about Britney during the Cry Me a River process? Mm, yes. Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears were the it couple of the late 90s and early 2000s pop music scene. They broke up in 2002, the same year Timberlake released this song about getting cheated on and wanting revenge. The singer shared that he was so mad about the alleged infidelity between Spears and choreographer Wade Robson that it took him just two hours to pen the track. There's even a Britney lookalike in the music video, as if we needed more convincing. Supposedly, Britney responded with her 2004 hit Every Time, which is about asking for forgiveness. However, she has since accused him of exploiting their relationship and breakup to further his career. Number 5. Flowers, Miley Cyrus In 2019, Cyrus released Slide Away, a somber reflection on her split from Liam Hemsworth. However, her 2023 jam Flowers put a more upbeat spin on the situation while celebrating self-love and self-care. It's also filled with Easter eggs, from a possible reference to the 2018 Woolsey fire that burned down their home, Till we built a home and watched it burn. to shooting the music video in the house where Hemsworth allegedly cheated on her. Also, she released it on his 33rd birthday. Now that's pretty savage. The song also seems to sample another iconic breakup song in I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor, which shares a similar message. Flowers is a major earworm and so brilliant. It's essentially a masterclass in breakup songs. Number four, So What, Pink. Sometimes after a breakup, we have a strong desire to be petty AF. I guess I just lost my husband. Usually, a little voice in our heads will talk us out of it. But this song proves that sometimes, pettiness is the most freeing outlet. Okay, we don't condone following Pink's example to a T, but you get what we mean. So What, co-penned by Pink, Shellback, and Max Martin, was inspired by the singer's separation from former ex Carrie Hart. He even stars in the music video since they were already back together by the time of its release. Still, it's a cheeky, irreverent number about proving that you don't need that person to live your best life. Number 3. You Oughta Know, Alanis Morissette Since its release in the mid-90s, fans have speculated who this song might be about. Names like Ryan Reynolds, Matt LeBlanc, Leslie Howe, and Mike Peluso have all been thrown into the mix. More than one person has taken credit for it. And I'm thinking, I don't know if you want to take credit for being the person I wrote You Oughta Know. Right. About. However, full house actor Dave Coulier thinks You Oughta Know that it might be about him, since she released it not long after they broke up. He doesn't seem to know for sure, but he's revealed that he can hear aspects of their relationship reflected in the song's lyrics. Meanwhile, Morissette has no plans to spill the beans on the track's intended subject. Gonna take credit for a song where I'm singing about someone being a douche or an asshole. <laughs> you might not want right. to. Yeah, you might not want to say, "Hey, that's me." Yeah, right, right, right. Still, this is a great song to listen to when you're particularly enraged and need to let it all out. Number two, much of Taylor Swift's discography. Taylor Swift. T Swift is no stranger to heartbreak. 
she famously channels her emotions into music, giving us a plethora of relatable heartache songs. From the peppy, we are never ever getting back together, the edgier I knew you were trouble, to the rockier would've could've should've and countless others, there are too many unforgettable options to choose just one. Some of her tracks are more subtle and cryptic, like All Too Well, while others are self-explanatory like Dear John. find a Tay Tay song for every emotion you've ever felt while going through or healing from a breakup. Incidentally, it's rumored that she may be the subject of John Mayer's Paper Doll and the Jonas Brothers' Paranoid. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Irreplaceable, Beyonce. This track is irreplaceable in our post-breakup empowerment playlist. Mm -hmm. to the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. Before he cheats. Carrie Underwood. Cheaters suck, but we don't commend property damage, however compelling this song is. Triggered, Freestyle, Janae Aiko. Aiko released the song shortly after her breakup with Big Sean. Trying my hardest not to disrespect you. After what you did, man, what you expected. Rolling in the Deep, Adele. Inspired by the end of her first real relationship. Perfect Illusion, Lady Gaga, reportedly, reportedly about her ex-fiancé Taylor Kinney. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. You're So Vain, Carly Simon Which of Simon's exes is so vain they probably think this song is about them? Could it have been Mick Jagger? Perhaps James Taylor? You're so vain. You probably think this song is about you. Or maybe it was David Cassidy or David Bowie. For decades, she's been teasing us with little hints here and there, but she's still not ready to spill the tea entirely. However, she has revealed that the second verse is about Warren Beatty, and jokingly added that he thinks the entire song is about him. So, uh, Carly Simon wrote the song You're So Vain About You. How would I know? Mystery man or men aside, this is arguably Simon's most synonymous track, and a total earworm. But you gave away the things you love. Plus, who doesn't love a song telling some arrogant ex that he's not all that and needs to get over himself? Okay, I don't think it's Mick Jagger because he sings backup on that song, so that'd be really weird. 